Welcome to Full of Grace uh, Ministry. It's time for us to stretch forth our hands in the name of Jesus. Trouble is in our way and sometimes we have to cry. But I believe there is someone that is greater in you than he that is in the world. Trish is going to read some scriptures about us stretching forth thy hand. Oh, we have to use the greater that is within us because times are getting hard, but we got a greater within us in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. You know, I had a dream the other night and uh, all I saw was John sitting in front of me. And then I seen him turn around and he done his arm out in the air like this. And I didn't know what it meant. And uh, I told him about it yesterday morning. I said, John, I said, I had a dream about you. And he's stretching forth your hand like this in the air and saying some words. He said, well, you know, the Lord has showed me some things about that. And I'll let him tell you about that when he gets up here. And he said, of course, Daryl had noticed that when he does his hand forth, it's like power. And there is power in our hands because of the name of Jesus and the power of God. So we're going to get into the scriptures, but I wanted John to share what he, God has revealed to him about using your hands. So I had that dream, and I didn't know that Daryl had even mentioned it. And he told me Daryl had mentioned it, so. Let me go ahead and say this before she had this dream. There is a God that lives in you and me. And there are troubled times all around us. But I was showed by the Spirit of God that you have a power within you. And sometimes you got to stretch forth thy hand. Um, when the enemy comes at you, you have to stretch forth thy hand and draw the principalities of the air back. God has given you power within. And when she told me about the dream, I said, you don't know how God has been dealing with me because I know there was a Moses one time that opened the sea up by stretching forth his hand with a rod. I know God has a people and a chosen people and you are one of them if you're in his name. Amen. Woo, that's powerful. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, Exodus 8, 6. And Aaron stretched out his hands over the waters of Egypt and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. Exodus 10, and Moses stretched forth his hand toward the heaven, and there was a thick darkness all, uh, all the land of Egypt three days. Exodus 14, 27. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to, to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Joshua 8, 18. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Stretch out thy hand. Uh, Joshua, he said, let me read it again. And the Lord said to, unto Joshua, Stretch out thy spear that is in thy hand toward Ai, for I will give it unto thine. Amen. And John has some more scriptures on uh, Joshua and Ai. Let me tell you, and he's telling him to stretch forth his hand. Amen. Get ready. This is going to be powerful. Amen. Ministers of God, singers of God, you that are out there in troubled times that we are living in, you know the president is going through some things in the White House. Trouble is everywhere through the land. All you got to do is have eyes to see and ears to hear what the uh, the Spirit is saying to the churches in these last days, uh, you know 
as well as I know, you have to have something uh, to get you uh, where you're going to. And that is heaven. We've got to have the power of God in our life in these troubled times. You know why? Uh, ask the preacher. He has troubled times just as well as you, uh, but he knows uh, how to come out uh, out of troubled times because troubled times is in my way. I, I have to cry sometimes. Uh, I lay awake at night. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, I tell you, Jesus will fix it. Uh, Jesus will fix it after a while. Jesus will fix it uh, for you also. Uh, Jesus, oh yes, He will. Oh yes, He will. He knows just what to do uh, whenever you pray. Uh, let Him, uh, let Him have His way. Jesus will fix it. Uh, I know He will. Stretch forth thy hand. Don't let the enemy come toward you. Uh, you are fighting a battle in these last days. Uh, you know it uh, as well as I know it. Uh, you are fighting things uh, that you have never fought before. Troubles, tribulation, trials, and situations are coming upon all of us uh, more than ever it has before. Therefore, we must claim uh, this great God Almighty. Don't take His Word for granted. Uh, don't take His Word for granted. Let the Word of God come alive in you uh, so you can overcome the things that are coming toward you daily. In 1 John 4 and 4, I might uh, read this several times during this message uh, because you have heard it over and over. But are you getting it in here? Are you getting it in here? Ye are of God little children and have overcome them. You have overcome them because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. Uh, the world has greater sin like it has never had before manifesting uh, like it has never before. The sin is not hidden no more. It's running rapid in the world. Uh, it's running rapid in the world. I'm here to tell you on Full of Grace uh, ministry, uh, Full of Grace ministry, Oh, uh, we declare the mercy of God Almighty. And therefore, greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. We have to have this greater. We have to have this greater. And doing this, uh, having this greater in you uh, than He that is in the world. We've got to put this He in us, uh, this He, uh, this individual God, this He uh, that is the Almighty, Everlasting Father, the God of this universe. Uh, we got to have this He in our life. Uh, we got to have this powerful, mighty God He uh, in us, uh, in us. Uh, Therefore, when God is in you, uh, you stretch forth your hands uh, toward your enemies. Back them off uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to do this. The president has to do this. He is dealing with some dark forces uh, all around him. Uh, witchcraft, uh, a sinful uh, generation like it has never been before. Homosexuality. Ever of sin is going mad because they cannot sin like they should. But thank God Almighty, there is a He in somebody that's proclaiming He is greater than the He that is in the world. We're walking amongst some great evil things, greater sin like it has never been, greater ways of sinning. Oh, it used to be hid. It's in the open now. But now we must take this verse and put it in our heart. We got a greater He in us than He that is in the world. Therefore, because of this, you can stretch out thy hand. In Deuteronomy 9 and 29, 
Yet they are thy people and thine inheritance which thou broughtest out by the mighty power and by the stretched out arm. It's time that you be a mighty people. Stretch forth thy arm and let the world know there is a great almighty God that is in you. That is in you. That lives in you. For you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And Exodus 18 and 11. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. For in the things wherein they dwelt proudly, He was above all. Sinners are walking around proudly. They don't care no more. They don't care what they do. They don't care what they say. That's why the greater He that is in you, let it be said that you should not care to stand up on the Word of God and proclaim who He, who he is. For if the sinner man can do his evil deeds, it's time for you as a Christian to do your deeds. Do your work that you should do for the Lord. You have eyes that can see and ears that can hear. Let's use them. Be a reader of God's Word. But don't be just a reader only. Be a doer of the Word. A doer of the Word. Do it. Do it. Work it. Work it. Be a doer of the Word. It's time, it's time for you to stretch forth thy hand. Yes, it is. In Deuteronomy 26 and 8, And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great trembleness and with signs and wonders. The devil, the devil is doing his signs, doing his wonders, marching up and down the streets, throwing fists and fighting and carrying on, uh, holding up signs and letting the world see what they can do. Christian, man of God, woman of God that's filled with the Holy Ghost, it's time to show signs and wonders by the greater He that is in you than he that is in the world. It's time to bring forth signs and wonders that every witchcraft, every uh, demonic spirit uh, cannot show anything greater than what you have inside of you. And you know who that is. It's our great Heavenly Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that's in us by the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of our God, Jesus God. Hey, God, two and nine, the glory of this letter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord. The devil wants to take your peace. The devil wants to make sure he keeps you where he has you but I'm here to tell you the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former saith the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give you peace saith the Lord of hosts Jesus the almighty God in the flesh is greater than all principalities that walks in your house Greater than all principalities that keeps you in one spot and don't want you to go no further. He's greater than all principalities that, than witches, warlocks think they can overpower you. You speak the word, you stretch out thy hand, and you tell the devil that you're a child of the King of Kings. 
the Lord of Lord, the Prince of Peace, the God Almighty that stepped down on earth, that gave you power within, for He is greater than He that is in the world. Thank God somebody that Jesus Christ has come into the world and put the greater within you. Exodus 6 and 6, Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of Egypt, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. Praise God. you got a Redeemer. He has an arm. And He's got legs. And He spoke to us when He came down here on earth. And He can stretch forth His hand. And He can uh, redeem you out of bondage. And all the bondage that this evil world, that Satan is bounding His people up like He has never bound them up before. Praise God. we got to have the stretched out arm of our Lord. To take us out of these bondages. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Are you tired of troubles? Are you tired of sorrow? Are you tired of crying? Are you tired of waiting? Are you tired of for something to just show up and take care of your problems? I'm telling you here on Full of Grace Ministry, we have a mighty God with a stretched out hand and He is showing you and telling you, pick up thy bed and walk in the name of Jesus and don't let no devil stop you from what you need to do. Don't let no devil keep you from church. Don't let no devil keep you from worshiping God. Don't let no devil uh, have more power than the greater one that's in you. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ. In Joshua 8 and 19, And the ambush arose quickly, Oh my God, out of their place. And they ran as soon as He had stretched out His hand. And they entered into the city and took it to, and hasted and set the city on fire. It's time for us uh, to stretch forth our hand. Don't let no devil in any city. You're in your city. I'm in my city. There's trouble on every side in all cities. Uh, but we have a mighty God that stretched forth His hand and causes your enemies to fall in front of you. It's the Word of God. You have the power within you. No devil, no witch or wizard is going to work in the name of Jesus. God gave you the power. Use it. God gave you the power. You use it. Whatsoever you bind on earth, He'll bind in heaven. Whatsoever you curse on earth, he curses in heaven. My God, you have a great, greater He that is in you than, in, than He that is in the world. Uh, that the greater work, uh, that the greater person, that the greater person, and this person is Jesus Christ, the mighty grace of God, stretch forth His hand and take care of your enemies. You can do it. Uh, he gave you that power. He gave you that strength to do that. He's a greater God. Greater than any other God. Exodus 18, 11. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. For in the things wherein they dwell proudly, He was above them. He's above all them ones that's working evil against you. And they're doing it proudly. You got a God that's above all gods. Matthew 12 and 6. But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than in the temple. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. In this place is one greater that's in the temple. Do you have that greater one? That's in you. Even your church might not have the greater one. But do you have the greater one? 
in you that's in that temple praise God when Jesus was on earth they did not have the greater one in their temple but praise God Jesus reached down somewhere out there he was greater than the ones that was in the world and they knew the greater one that they did not have in the temple get to know him get to know him this mighty God is greater than any one that is in the temple it's Jesus Christ he is the greater one mark 432 but when it is shown sown it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs and shooteth out great branches great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it so the seed of the greater one that is in you this greater one is in you is God Almighty and when you sow it uh, it groweth up uh, it becomes greater than all herbs and shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it uh, there are creatures out there that needs a branch to land on uh, oh my God almighty we must sown uh, sow it uh, so it may grow up and have branches where the fowls in the air can land on it. There is trouble people out there. They need a branch to run to. There's trouble times out there. They need somewhere to go to. They need a hymn. They need a hymn to go to. And they've got to find this hymn that's in you. The greater, the greater He that is in you in these troubled times. Trouble times in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Praise God. Have you ever been there? 3 John. John 1 and 4. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Uh, you need great joy. And to get that great joy, follow the children that's in the truth. We know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You need greater joy in your life. You've got to run to the truth. That truth is Jesus Christ that you have to run to. No other God, no other Savior will do. The Almighty Heavenly Father is your only Savior. There is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Run and teach and stretch forth thy hand with that greater He, that individual He that is in you. He is greater than He that is in the world. Praise the name of our God. Somebody say thank you, Jesus, right now. The name of our God. There is no other name that is above that name. There's not no other salvation but through that name. Praise God. I heard that the Pope is going to Jerusalem and he's going to reveal what they had secret for decades, hidden away. And he's going to reveal the name of God. Oh, I got news for the Pope. There has been a group of people that has already done it, Pope. We have a revealed the name of the Almighty God. And this Jesus Christ has come in His Father's name. And that name is Jesus, the name of the Almighty God. And praise God, Almighty, the greater one that is in you is greater than He that is in the temple. Greater. You cannot keep this a secret. You cannot hide the name. I don't care how many decades you want to hide the name. You cannot do it. Oh, my Bible tells me that Jesus' people 
He said, I will not have my people ignorant. So hide it if you want to. We know the name above all other names. And not another name will do. We know the almighty God's name. For in Him and, and for Him and by Him were all things created. And therefore, we know His name, the Creator. And His name is Jesus and we know and we stand firm on that. We know the mighty God's name and the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. Stretch forth thy hand. You're in trouble time. Stretch forth thy hand toward your enemies. They cannot harm you. Your enemies will fall. They cannot do nothing toward you. Although they try, they try to wreck your home. They try to wreck your body. They try to disturb you for even reading the Word of God. But you have found in the Word of God your everlasting Father, uh, whose name is Jesus, uh, the Son of God, uh, who came uh, to dwell within you uh, by the Holy Ghost. Uh, so stretch forth thy hand uh, for thy enemies. Uh, and your enemy shall fall because it's written in the Bible. Your enemy shall fall because they're trying to get you to fall. They're trying to get you to turn away. They are trying to keep you from going to church. Your enemies are trying to get you from being baptized in the wonderful God's name. And that name is Jesus Christ. Your enemies are, are out there to kill, steal, and destroy. It, Therefore, stretch forth thy hand. Stretch forth thy hand. Lay hands on the sick in the name of Jesus. Preach and teach in the name of Jesus. Tell the world who your God is that's in the name of Jesus. Stretch forth thy hand and cause your enemies to see that you have a greater He that is in you than He that is in the world. Stretch forth thy hand and pull that sinner man out of darkness into the marvelous, marvelous light. Stretch forth thy hand and lead that sinner man to the baptism and baptize them in the mighty name of God, in the name of Jesus. Stretch forth thy hand and do what the Word says. Go into all the world and preach the Gospel to all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Anybody love His name? Therefore, do it, do it, do it. Don't be a hearer only, but be a doer in the name of Jesus and baptize somebody in that powerful name, that greater He that is in you. Stretch forth thy hand. You can make it. You got troubles everywhere. They're on your TV screen. They're in your homes. They're in situations of your family members. Trouble is everywhere. It walks in the churches. But we got a God that's greater in us that's in the temples. Therefore, you have power within you. You have to release and proclaim in the name of Jesus in trouble time. Praise God.